Football 101 with Coach Brett Bielema. Brought to you by Carl, the official health provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to Football 101. Martin O'Donnell joined as always by Coach Brett Bielema. And Coach, we're standing here in the Stu and Nancy Levenick Auditorium, the team meeting room. How often do you use this space? It has to be all the time. Every day. Uh, we have a start today meeting every day here at 7 o'clock where I come in as a head coach. I'll talk about a few things that day and then specifically about the schedule. But uh, Stu and Nancy are two of my favorite people, uh, incredibly generous. Um, Stu is a great player here that uh, turned into a professional life that has been uh, allowed him to do things for the university that he loves and couldn't be more pleased to be in his building every day with him. Well, and, and one thing that happens, uh, I think it's mostly for every home game, you have the guest captains come in, usually it's former players, but they have a chance to address the team in, in this room. T talk to us a little bit about some of those experiences over the past couple of years. Yeah, just this past weekend, Justin Hardy, who is a, an active NFL captain for the New York Jets, right? A guy that is uh, playing high level football on one of the best hot teams in, in the NFL. And Justin came here on his bye week and, and they stand in the front of the room here. And it's funny to see the reactions of former players because they, see this room and they realize they never had a room like this. The Smith Center, uh, our players are so blessed with Josh has allowed us to do and the baby steps were growing. Um, former players, when they come back, it's allowed us to engage them as well. Um, uh, we've had uh, former uh, great players that became NFL players, uh, players with unique stories, um, just a lot of different stories that our players hear that they sat in these seats one time just like them. Yeah, well, and you know, Looking at you know the game last week and then the kind of the home stretch here. Obviously, you're at the point of the season injuries start to crop up, but it's opportunities for somebody else. Tyler Strain, yep. you know, great job filling in at cornerback, gets an interception, then he goes out. But talk to us a little bit. Who are some of the guys that, that stepped up and, and made plays over the past? Year? You know, we we knew it was coming in the Big Ten. You got to survive uh, these unforeseen injuries, right? Uh, it's the game of football. It's the Big Ten conference. Uh, really, when we're on that six game run. We had a couple injuries pop up during the course of the game, but we, it was really just one guy at one position, and the backup came in and did some things. What's happening now a little bit is, uh, you know, specifically at corner, we lost Taz for the year. We've lost uh, his backup was Terrell Jennings, who we got out of the portal, who literally had been with us just for this year, had done a great job, uh, and but he's now done for the year, and that brings T. Strain into it. T. Strain's in there, gets his first interception, starts playing some really good football. He gets concussed, gets knocked out of the game, is doubtful for this game. Uh, and now, you, you know, you have two freshmen coming in the game, uh, Xavier Scott, who has continued to do well, Elijah McCantos, different guys got to step up and it's the name of the game and, and hopefully it's going to come through. Well, and some of the same things at outside linebacker, correct? I mean, Gabe Ackes is obviously, he's, he's a veteran at this point. You're yeah. 10 games in as a freshman, you're a veteran, but, you know, Alec Bryan in there getting a lot of good reps also. Yeah, you know, uh, obviously we lost Zeke at the beginning of the year and that thrust Seth Coleman into that leadership role. Mm -hmm. Gabe came off the bench, became a starter, a part-time starter. Uh, Alec Bryant really this past weekend with, with Seth being down now popped into that role. So, uh, again, that doesn't happen by chance. I credit a lot of the good stuff out of the players, the skill sets, but the development uh, from our coaches. Kevin Kane had been working with those guys during Debo periods uh, to get them to come in and play the way they did and, and hopefully more examples of that to come. Well, and a great opportunity this week, you know, playing at the Big House, kind of one of the iconic venues in the Big Ten. But, you know, kind of an interesting, it's a senior-laden team, but Illinois hasn't played there since 2016. So, so nobody's played at the Big House while a member of the University of Illinois. It's a little bit of a quirk. There. It is. I saw that in a release that uh, the only two guys that we've had that played at Michigan were Art Sikowski when he was at Rutgers, uh, Chase Brown when he was at Western Michigan. So, uh, but when, when we're in recruiting, I might be a little different from other coaches. I really sell the other stadiums. I have have a display in my office that has not only uh, our stadium in Indy, right, where we want to play Big Ten championships, but all of the teams in the conference. I talk about going to Michigan, talk about going to uh, Penn State, talk about going to Minnesota, talk about going to Iowa, talk about going to Nebraska. You play in some stadiums uh, that have a lot of unique history and perspective, and, and it's something that if you love college football, you should embrace these moments. Absolutely. Well, hey, great opportunity and great venue this week, and thank you for stopping by Football 101. Football 101 with Coach Brett Bielema. Brought to you by Carl, the official health provider of Fighting Illini Athletics.